Mr. President, I speak on behalf of Sri Lankan wartime leaders and men who defeated LTTE, the most ruthless terrorist organization in the world. The resolution 30 Sand 1 against Sri Lanka was based on OIS report of the High Commissioner with war crime charges. The Foreign Minister of Sri Lanka, without the approval of the President and the Cabinet, accepted the report and co-sponsored the resolution with USA. I am tabling two reports, one in which the world-renowned experts have clearly mentioned that we have never committed war crimes and the other prepared by an eminent board vetted by the former Chief Justice proving how the High Commissioner's report seriously flawed with contradictions, omissions and lies. We had, in our country, was a non-international armed conflict and the applicable laws are the international humanitarian law and not the international human rights law. When you apply the IHL, it is very clear that it was the LTTA and not the SL proof who did commit war crimes. We request the United Nations General Assembly to assign a special rapporteur to investigate the matter, impose a moratorium on UNHRC from pursuing the resolution any further till such investigation is completed. It is a pity that UNHRC, which kept a blind eye when LTT was using human shields and child soldiers, is now leveling war crime charges on the very troops which destroyed the LTT and protected the human rights of all. It is a typical example of double standard and hypocrisy.